So tell me something that you took home from the class before the end of it. I mean, in between modules, what did you take home and, and use? Well, the first thing that I, the, after the first module, I went home and the very first dog that I adjusted was a, a dog that had been my patient since he was a puppy. And I came into the clinic that, that very next day after I'd been here. And the owner, and he's old, this little guy, he's had back problems and everything. He's like 17 year old poodle. And he just abruptly started to stop eating dry food and, and had diarrhea. And I'm like, I don't think he's got a TMJ. I just learned about it, sort of thing. And I'm like, looked at my tech and I said, I wonder if he's got a TMJ because he's not eating dry food and it just happened acutely. And so I set up on it and it capitated. And I looked at Katie and she looked at me and we're like, and I said, go get some kibble and see what you'll do with it. And so she gave him a few kibbles and he went right to eating. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and so then I adjusted his sacral face and I told the owner, you know, he, that diarrhea may clear up because it, it also capitated. And I didn't know anything about what I was doing, honestly. I mean, I did, but I was, I was just, okay, let's try it. I can't hurt anything. And as Dr. Amy says, a bad adjustment's better than no adjustment. And the diarrhea cleared up and he was eating again and his tail was wagging and he was a happy little camper. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty darn cool. And it happened over, it happened so fast. So that, so I, then at that point I was like, yeah, there is a lot of, a lot to this. There's a lot to it. And when you put the science to it and you sit and you really mull it over the neurology behind it, it absolutely makes sense. You can't deny it. 